Bennett, I'm Kit from KitPakes.tv and today I am showing you behind the camera or is it in front of the camera? I can't, I'm not sure. But basically if you've seen some of my recent vlogs, most of them have been filmed in this room and uh, you get to see around like this. But I'm going to show you what's behind me and this is basically all the gear I use to film my vlogs and there's a lot of stuff here but you don't get to see it but it's used to create some good content, some average content. But anyway, before I start showing you things, I just want to plug my Patreon page. If you go to patreon.com forward slash kitpakes, you can help me by just pledging a small amount of money each month. And if you do that, you become part of a very small, very small, an exclusive community. And uh, if you subscribe at some of the higher tiers, you get to see this content before anyone else does. And also I do behind the scenes footage, little extras, and sort of just show you what's going on in my world and uh, what I'm up to. So go check out my Patreon page, I really appreciate it. So yeah, um, I must apologize if you can hear any noises, basically the person upstairs has moved out and I think they've left some bits behind. So it's being cleared at the moment. So there's a little bit of banging and crashing. I don't know if it can be picked up on the mic. I hope not. But anyway, enough talking. Let's have a look at the setup. And I think we'll start first with the camera. So basically, I have two cameras. There's this one, and there's that one. And um, yeah, I use them both, but I use them for different purposes. So basically, that is the Canon EOS M50, and I use that for most of the filming that you see. And that is a, a mirrorless camera. That's where the M in the M50 comes from. And it is plugged into my computer and it uses the HDMI out. Now it doesn't have a clean HDMI out, which is really annoying. So I've done a bit of a hack to make it work. I'm gonna make a video all about that hack very soon. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, there that is, and that's the Canon ES M50, and that is with the stock 15 to 45 millimeter lens, and it's pretty good. And while we're talking about the camera, it is mounted on the Elgato mount, multi-mount, which is down there. Um, there's another video on that, which I'll stick a link up to on the screen. But yeah, that's how it's held on. And I've got just a newer ball joint head there just to make it a little bit quicker and easier to adjust the angle of the camera. Now let's look at this guy. So this is the Logitech Brio camera. It's a 4K camera and I kind of use this as a backup, I guess. It's good for just sort of like a basic webcam and because it's got uh, the Windows Hello feature built in, it's very handy for just logging into the computer with my face. But yeah, I don't use this one as much now uh, for recordings and stuff. It's just kind of, yeah, secondary camera, I guess. And if I play games in the Discord, I use this one instead of the Canon, just because. So I guess next we should talk about sound and uh, this is my audio interface. It's a Behringer, 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 I don't know how you say it, Euphoria UMC 220 HD and basically that is what produces the sound. So both my microphones plug into those, uh, I'll show you those in a mo, and you can adjust the levels and you can plug some headphones in and that is also basically the sound card on my computer. So all the audio is rooted through there and it sounds lovely. So in front of me on the desk, usually mounted in that position, are two Rode microphones. They are the NT1As and I love them. And yeah, so I've got two, one for left, one for right. Or if James is here with me or George, I've got one for them as well. So yeah, I've got a dual microphone set up now. So the sound is in stereo. And I've got these mounted on the Rode PSA1 boom arms. And while we're talking about the sound, a bit hard to see, but either side of my monitors are some Mackie CR3 silver speakers and those are monitor reference speakers and I love the sound that they create. So yeah, they're the Mackie CR3 silvers. So they are tucked away behind the monitors, it's not much room, but they, uh, they are active speakers so they've got a power supply and they amplify the sound. And they've also got a lovely auxiliary in and headphone socket on the side of them there. And this is the Rode PSA1 boom arm and I guess that leads me nicely onto this now this is my stream deck 
I made an unboxing video of this and this controls lots of elements so at the moment I'm on the lighting screen and I can adjust the lights so I've got my front light here I can adjust the brightness just by the touch of a button I've got my back light here and again and then I've got the light that's in front of my monitor and I can you know, turn that off or on and the backlight behind the sign I can turn on and off but yeah the stream deck is set up for all sorts so I've got some OBS controls in there for recording and switching scenes but it just means everything is in a very handy position and I can just switch to whatever I want really easily now that I'm not streaming it doesn't have as many settings on it but I'm slowly building them back up again to ones I can use for video recording Guess we need to talk about the uh, the controls I use. So here is my mouse, and that is a ROG Republic of Gamers Gladius 2 wireless gaming mouse. I filmed an unboxing video of that. I've not put it up yet. I will do. What's this next to it? I have got the ROG Strix Flare RGB keyboard. This has got the uh, cherry red keys on it, and it's all nicely synced up with the Aura Sync that's on my computer. Very nice indeed. So I guess we should talk about lights. Now up here in front of me, I have got an Elgato Keylight Air that's lighting the front of the scene. And ooh, behind me, I've also got another Elgato Keylight Air, which lights the rear of me. They give a really nice balanced light and I can just alter the brightness with the touch of a button. And then in front of me to light my face, let me turn that down. There we go. This is a Hue Playlight. And again, I just use this to light my face. And then behind me, I've got another one of these Hue play lights, which is lighting my sign. Or, well, backlighting it, I guess. Oh, I nearly forgot. Up here is another Elgato uh, multi-mount with the flex arm kit. There we go. And basically, I use that to do overhead shot. I strap on my GoPro to the tripod mount up the top there and I can adjust the arm in any way I like to get a nice overhead shot. Cool, eh? So there you have it. It's a really quick tour of my equipment. I think I'm gonna do a separate video about my PC. I did do a video all about building that PC, but it's had several upgrades and enhancements since then, and I don't really wanna rummage around on the floor showing you that, so what I might do is get the PC out and on the table, and we can have a little go through everything that's in that in a separate video. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!